it was supposed to be the 40th London Marathon on the 26th of April, um, obviously 26 miles. Um, and it's a massive fundraising event, obviously, for a lot of charities and Western Park being one of them. Um, obviously, that funding at the moment is is not there from the fundraising, sorry, is not there from the uh, from that event. Obviously, it's later on in the year, but especially now with the time that we're going through, it's important. Um, that those charities still get the fundraising and the help that they can, that they need. Um, so this was set up, and we were asked to um, take part in a challenge and put it out there and get people involved. Now, what did you do specifically for the challenge? We tried to think of something different um, to do, me and Fletch together. So I did um, keepy ups with a tennis ball, and he did um, keepy ups with a golf ball and a golf club. And how difficult was it to do keep you up with a tennis ball with a couple of dogs in the garden? Yeah, yeah, I had to borrow a ball off them. So that, they weren't happy with that for a start. Um, got tackled a few times and then ended up having to put them away so I could finish it off. Um, but no, it's all good fun. What's harder than a golf ball or a tennis ball? <sighs> I'm saying tennis ball. He said it took one take, so mine must have been harder because I didn't do it in one take. Now, the key thing is, is anybody can get involved in this, can't they? It doesn't have to be keepy-uppies. It could be anything, really. 26 reps of something, 26 keepy-uppies, 26 seconds, 26 minutes, can't it? Yeah, it's anything around those numbers. I think that's the, the, the good part of it, I think. Um, when I put it out there, you know, I said, you can think up your own challenge um, or, or have a go at mine. So I think that's the, the beauty of it, really. How important is this charity to you? You're a patron, aren't you, at the charity? So, so what does it mean to you to be helping them out during this time? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, I haven't been working with Western Park now for a couple of years, really, um, since I've been up here. Um, it's, you know, it's a charity that's quite close to me. Uh, um, and to help them out in any little way that we can, you know, we do all the time. And it's our pleasure to do so. We know we, we really enjoy going down there and seeing all the staff and, the patients as well and you know hopefully putting smiles on their faces um obviously that's not possible at the moment so to help out in any way that we can um we always like to get involved and would you like it's on social media now so would you like people to maybe do some videos send them in and, and show what they're doing to get involved yeah definitely it's all part of it i think um there's been a lot of high profile um celebrities and athletes around the country doing it for all different charities and um seeing a lot of you know, mixed challenges and things like that. So there's always different ideas that people can come up with. Um, and it's great to see the wide variety of them all. How have you found the lockdown so far? Obviously, it's been quite a while now, a few weeks. How have you found it? Yeah, it's crazy. I think, obviously, um, very tough times. Um, I live up here, obviously, in Sheffield now, but all my family are, are down in Essex. So it's been a lot of time without being able to see family and friends. Um, but it's you know it's part of it. We have to stay inside. We have to stay safe and um, keep keep abiding by the guidelines. And then hopefully it'll all be over sooner rather than later. How do you stay in touch with your family then? I and mean, have you been doing anything on like FaceTime or Zoom or you know, people who do yeah. these quizzes and things like that? Have you done any, yeah. any of that? Yeah, getting quizzed out now. I think three or four a week is uh, getting to to a bit too much. But no, it's it's always good to socialise. And I think especially when you know, we're stuck inside and, you know, you can't go and see them face to face. It's nice to see them and catch up online and, and you know, just almost take your mind off it at the moment. Do you keep in touch with the rest of the lads as well? Are you in uh, regular contact with them? Yeah, definitely. We know we've got a group, uh, group uh, squad like chat going um, that we've had and, you know, there's little quizzes and little questions, teasers going on in there. Um, we all try and keep in touch and everyone's just itching to get back to training now, really. And, and you know, is it... Are there some positives to come out of this in terms of you know that interaction with family and friends and with your teammates as well? Yeah, I think so. I think um, you know it shows the the bonds that we have really, whether that be with family, friends, teammates, or or anyone. I think you know that the whole community, especially where I live, are all coming together. If there's there's people that need you know like elderly people that need jobs doing, you know we're going out and we're doing them, and you know, there's like a group a group village chat or whatever and you know everyone tries to help each other out i think that's a massive positive bringing everyone together um possibly realizing things that we didn't before about about our neighbors as well um so yeah you definitely have to look at the positives in a situation like this that's a nice thing so you've been helping out some of your neighbors then over the last few weeks 
Yeah, I think it's anything, is it? Or is maybe offering a hand, you know, I'm, oh, I'm just popping to the shops, can I grab you anything? It doesn't need to be much, even just a, hi, morning, how are you? Um, over the fence or something like that. I think it's important that we, that we, uh, that we do that. And how have you found training at home? Has that been easy, hard? It's tough. I like to keep myself in in a good shape over the holidays anyway when we're off during the off-season. But, you know, it's dragging on to, to like you say, I think we're coming up to six weeks at the end of this um, lockdown. It'll be a long time training on your own. Um, my missus isn't very happy either because I've been dragging her out with me. So, um, But, no, it is tough. It's mentally tough more than anything because you're on your own out there grinding and, Let's be honest, we don't really know if we're even going to go back to finish the season. Um, but yeah, like I said, I like to keep myself fit and ticking over, so um, it's not been too bad. And just finally, I mean, that's the big topic, isn't it? I bet footballers all around the country are talking about it. Do you come back and finish the season? Do you look ahead to next season? Have you got a preference? I mean, of course, we want to finish the games that we've got to play. Um, but like I've said before, you know, the preference has to be everyone's everyone's safety and well-being I think that comes above anything else in, in life you know it's it's massive compared to football which at the end of the day is irrelevant compared to that um, so hopefully yeah we can get back and finish the games but like I said safety first over everything